a minority, whether you believe in something else, whether you love someone else, or whether you have a disability. I think that sport is a place where it's accessible for everyone. There should never ever be a barrier in sport. The reason why we love sport is because it's so accessible to everyone. I feel like culture, sport brings everyone together and you know, all cultures come together and it's just something everyone can agree on and go out and have fun, you know, simple as that. Inclusive sport and active recreation is welcoming of everyone and allows more people to get involved and benefit from participating. Inclusive organisations value, support and promote diversity in gender, culture and ability to create a child safe culture. I teach with other uh, swimmers, so sometimes we modify the set for her and after I take care individually. So it's it's more, more accurate and more uh, improvement. And also the classification helps because they know kind of what I need. It's difficult sometimes, but in the end they get to know me and it's, and it's nice. It's massively important because it then means that they are swimming against um, people of their own ability. You sometimes might look and go, why is that swimmer swimming against another person? At Paralympics in particular, and it has to do with their classifications. So it's important that those kids get classified as early as possible so that they can swim or compete against people with the same abilities that they have. At a multi-class swimming competition, there's lots of exceptions to the usual swimming rules, not just in the water, where there's obviously technical exceptions. Depending on their disability, they may have some assistance on the block. So they may have a light flash if they're hearing impaired. Sometimes they have a person who taps them when they're swimming, that's for vision impairment. They obviously don't know when the end of the wall is coming to turn. Uh, so those support people are sometimes family members and sometimes the coach. Riding around the arena, sometimes riders need a support from both sides, so you have to, uh, to hold on. You just get a feel for, for what to do. And, and when to do it, to, to keep everybody safe, both rider and volunteers. I find out if I have an issue, I will wait until everything's calm. If I see something that uh, doesn't, isn't right, I will let people know that, that, no, this is what you have to do. It comes with a, bit, a lot of practice of getting the confidence. I had to work it all up. I understand where it comes from with kids having a disability. I'm a, a disability myself. It doesn't define me. It does not define who I am. Every child is unique, and that's what makes them awesome. Inclusive sport and active recreation clubs create a level playing field for young people of all abilities where everyone can thrive. It is important for sport and active recreation organisations to ensure everyone is treated with respect and that participation reflects the diversity of the communities they are a part of. By including, valuing and empowering young people of any gender, culture or ability, we're building an active community that cares, learns, grows and has fun together. It brings everyone closer, to be honest. It's just like we're all one big family. Learn more about inclusive sport and active recreation with the resources in this video or on the Office of Sport website. It's really important for basketball to be an inclusive sport, whether it's in the Indigenous space or the female space or wheelchair athletes or disability, because it's everyone's game. Yeah!